In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a slide for our services. And if you can see here, I've added one a nice background which I've downloaded from the internet and uh, image of the employee or the owner or the salesperson, whoever you like to have it. And when I click, it will show you the first, I said it's marketing and then it comes the strategy then i'll talk about the artificial intelligence and then we have got the search engine optimization likewise i have created one more slide what we do i'm talking about here the boutique and the jewelry and the footwear as well as the eyewear and one more slide i did with the 3d model so you can see here the same slide but a different 3d I'm talking about the watches and you can see here the watches it's a 3d model which is available in only office 365 version and when i click it will talk about the cosmetics here and you can see here it looks very beautiful then you can see here i'm talking about the footwear again the shoes are rotating and then you have got some gift items isn't it good so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. I have downloaded two images from the internet. Uh, this is I'm going to use for the background and this uh, PNG file I'm going to use to show again uh, in the backside. So I'm going to insert shapes, select an oval shape. So if I'm going to show about four services, that means I'm going to add four circles so first let me add this one and shape outline i'm going to make it white and shape fill you can fill any of your color which you like it and then right mouse click go to format shape and under effects go to 3d rotation presets select this one which is offset off axis one top so it comes like this and 3d format under depth increase the size you can see here maybe nine point and let me just increase the size by holding the shift key so like this i can do it for the time being i'm just going to change the background color to some light gray so that it is clearly visible so if i have four services i'm going to add four press ctrl d to duplicate one will come here ctrl d one will go here and ctrl d other will go here and then you can just change the color again go to format i want to change this color to maybe this i will change this color maybe this and this one to some different color maybe purple now i can add the background so first i'm just selecting this and bring it here and cover the whole slide with this image and if you like you can just make some transparent effect also if you like so it will be somewhat lighter color then i'm going to add this image in the bottom at the bot uh, the back side you can see here just i'm adding again how much size you need you can just define the size or you can just drag it also so you can see here i have added now uh, this particular image is showing from the bottom so i just want to cover it for that i'll go to insert shapes select a rectangle maybe rectangle till here again cover the whole slide and shape outline make it no outline i'm going to use some gradient fill I'm going to use some gray color here, for example. So this side, on the top side, I'm going to make it fully transparency. Just make it more transparent. You can see here, only the bottom is visible. 
again if you want you can just increase or a decrease here or I can add one more also again make it somewhat transparent so it will look something like this this also I'm just going to select and send to back so that our the circles or oval shapes will come front now Now I have got two options to uh, insert here. I can go to insert. I can go and select the icons. For example, if I just click this one, I can just select any icons. For example, I want to just select from maybe let me just check apparels. So I can just select any of this for example I can just insert and I can put it here or I can just go if you want to make it more uh, attractive I'm going to use a 3d models here but 3d models it is uh, the size of the your presentation will be very big so you have to be very careful while using this one for example I'm just going to click on this clothing and you need to have an active internet connection for this for example I'm just going to select maybe this watch and just say insert so it will take some time depending on your internet speed so you can see here this particular watch has been inserted and I can just rotate it as I like it here for the time being I'm just going to reduce it and I'm just going to drag and drop it here and let me just add some text here so you can see the difference here the watch which I've just taken the icon and the watch which I have taken the the 3d so let me just add a text box I'll just say watches I'm going to use the font Century Gothic let me make it bold center aligned and I will add it here control D I will add for this again control D I'm going to add here and the last I'm going to add it here then I'm going to add some more detailed text here again you can just go and type your more detailed text again you can choose the font let me just make it reduce the size and add it here control D I will add it here okay now we have added the the text and the detailed text and if you want you can go for either 3d or uh, normal flat icons now it's time to do the animation and for adding the animation let me just close this format background go to animations tab enable the animation pane. I'm going to select the first uh, oval shape add animation or I can just go to fly in fly in from the bottom double click this one if you want make it you can timings make it fast also or some more uh, medium or slow it depends on your requirement and go to effect i'm just going to give some bounce effect here let me just increase the bounce effect so it comes like this and then i'm going to use the same animation for this i'm going to add click on animation painter click on the the text and again animation painter I'm going to copy the below also the detailed text so and this should happen all should happen with previous and I'll just delay this a little bit 
0.25 of 0.5 seconds and this also if I play it will come something like this and then I want to do animation on this one so for this I'm going to use the animation go to add animation more entrance effects I will just say stretch and say ok and I will say stretch from bottom so it comes like this and this should happen with previous so let me just play again now so it comes like this and this will come if I want I can just make some what up also and give some shadow effect that also can be done so now this is just a normal uh, icon now let's see how I can do this with uh, a 3d model so I'm just going to select the 3d model the moment I select the 3d model you can see here I have got a different animation effects so first let me just do the animation effect for this so I'm just going to select this animation I'll just put it here sorry let me just copy it again sorry animation painter click on the animation and then I'll do the same animation here for the text and for this also animation click on the detail text so let me use let me just do the animation for this one the first animation I want to use is arrive I'll just click arrive so it comes like this okay and this one also I'll just say with previous and then I'm going to add one more animation again select this I can just say add animation I can use like a turnable when I click turnable it is started turning and effect options I can just say a continuous here so it keeps on rotating you can see here and again if you want half spin full spin or up down how you want you can just play with this so again I'll just say this one after previous so let me just play all the video or animation so this will come and then this will come and start rotating as I said earlier uh, when you're using the 3d models or 3d objects the size of your presentation will be very big and likewise again if you want you can add a more either icons or a 3d here that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye